it's Carol from Allergy Free Living and today we're going to do a scalloped potato with ham. I had leftover ham and so I chopped it up and that's what we're going to put in the scalloped potatoes. Now I'm going to show you what you need, the products, because I already have the potatoes and they're all set. I use my gluten-free flour. This is the Bob Red Mill. You can get that Stop and Shop, Shaw's, pretty much any of the major grocery stores and even some of the ones job lot has it um, butter milk <laughs> and I use for the potatoes um, I like the golden they're uh, the golden potatoes but hey it's whatever you want so I showed you the milk um, the cheese that we're going to be using today is Cabot. You can use Munster. It's in the recipe or um, cheddar. I use the cheddar. We need salt, paprika, dry mustard. And this is what I use, um, a spray. I found this, it, um, a lot of the sprays have the soy in it. I can't use that. And this is a, a nice product. Um, stop and shop, real easy. So um, what I'm gonna do is, because I have the recipe on there, I just peel the potatoes and I slice them real thin. And while you're getting everything else together, I do the potatoes first, I can put them in water so they don't get brown. So these are all the products. The recipe will be online and I will get the finished product. Again, I'm doing a lot of this preparing it so that you guys can read the directions and it's a lot quicker for you. So let me get the scalloped potatoes. Okay, this is it. I think it's important to show you the product. It says everything as to what it is. This is it done. So I want you to see that it's all prepared at home. You know, you can do this, you grade the cheese, you mix everything together. You can do this ahead, put it in the refrigerator, and then you can take it and put it in the oven. But I did want to say one thing. When I make this, because you've used raw potatoes, they tell you to put a piece of foil over the whole pan put it in the oven for a half an hour. When that's done, then they want you to take the foil off and cook it for another hour. So it's a total of an hour and a half. And that's because you're using um, uncooked potatoes. So here it is one more time. That looks good. Nice and bubbly and boily and the ham is up on the top. Okay, um, I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, I will write all the instructions on the website. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. Again, if you have any questions, um, put them in on the comments and I'll answer them. I know you're gonna enjoy this. It's real good. Take care, thank you very much.